Exactly. There you go. Push on. Forward writing. Good job. Good job. I always say in every clinic, control is the ability to write forward, not backwards. That's it. Good job. Transition to trot again. Good. That's right. And little voice. Good. And push. Push more. Good. A little bit more contact. Good. Good. And within the contact through the range, I say what you push forward, that it doesn't end up in a two by four in front of you. That's a good girl. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Put your leg on. That's right. There you go. Not longer in the reins. Fine. Fine. That's a nicer frame for me now. Yeah? I'm okay with that. That's a nicer frame. Good. And when you now sit the trot for three strides, you want to transition from this trot to the canter. Go, 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 go. Exactly. Yeah. Forward, upward transitions. That a girl. Forward transition. Forward. Covering round. Yeah. That's right. That's really right. Good. Fine. You see, um, for the young horse, when you say to yourself, and this is really funny, but I love what George Morris, the jumper trainer, said, and I've worked a lot with jumpers um, in the past, is that when a horse has a basic canter, with energy, you want to think that you are having a 12-foot stride, yeah? And not just this little seven-and-a-half-foot stride, you know? Covering ground. Come, cover ground. Rain's a little shorter. That's right. Just a little shorter, the rain. Let's go. That's a girl. Excellent. Yes. See, now you are starting to think about developing the effort from his hindquarters in contribution to forward propulsion, right? And not just, well, he's pulling himself forward on his front legs. And the hind legs, due to the fact that they're attached to his butt, follow. Yeah? Yeah? Now we put them in charge. That's much better. Forward. That's it. Yeah, very good. Transition to trot again. Good. And trot forward. Forward rhythm. Good job. Good job. That's fine. There you go. And of course, I don't want forward running with his buns on fire, but forward always saying, what's the effort? What are the hind legs contributing to this? And is the forward, forward traveling through his back and neck into the contact? And does that energy that travels forward feel like it's through a supple horse, a relaxed horse? That's good. What you're forward. Yeah, very good. Super. There you go. Now change direction. <clears throat> good. The left leg is a bit sticky. Right away, get to the left leg. Make sure that you are telling him. Yeah. Good job. Every horse has a stiffer side. Good. Very good. There you go. Give a little tap, little tap, little tap. Good, easy, easy, good. That's right. Left rein a bit, maybe an inch shorter. Yeah, supple the jaw a little bit to the left, but don't reduce the tempo. Yeah, that's plenty. Keep it. Good job. That's enough. Good. And then soften the left rein. Not that you get stuck in that uh, left rein where you then end up just pulling his head to the inside and pulling him around too much. That's a girl. Forward, forward, forward riding. Good job. Yeah, that's good. I know he's a bit stickier to the left leg. So now we're going to cant on to the left. Good. And you sit a few strides and push, push as you sit. Yes. You know why? You don't want to make sure that when you sit the few strides in the, in the trot before you canter, you want, when your horse feels your seat, you never want to feel that he goes, ugh, now I'm not moving. Yeah? Okay? So when you only sit three strides at this point because your horse is not used to the trot sitting, you want to say to yourself, keep going. Push. Push. More. Jump. That's it. More. More. Yeah. 
Good. Yeah, the top of that left jaw just a touch. Good enough. Good. Push. That's it. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Push. Very nice job. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Both, that's right, both legs right forward, and then always when you're on the circle, always retrain the aspect of the inner leg. Never forget about that. Super good. Outside hand, lower, push on, come, push on. Awesome. That's very good. I know the stiffer side is harder. Left rein, not too long, push on. Yeah. Super. Good riding. Very nice job. Transition to trot. Good. And he swings through. He doesn't just stop and stall. Push on. Exa you see what I'm saying? That is with the young horse is very important. They are forward upward and forward downward. And not he canters and then he stops and stalls and you restart the trot. Super. Good job. Yeah. Hind legs. One, two, one. That's good. Very, very nice. Yeah. Left leg, heel down. Give him a little tap. Give him a little tap. Give him a little tap. There you go. Good boy. That's much better. Very nice. One more canter departure. Again, sit, stay forward. He has to stay forward as you sit for three strides. And go, 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 go. <laughs> Sorry. But you know what I'm saying, right? That he doesn't stall there. Good. Yeah. Good. Left heel down. Left heel down. Keep your outside leg on him a little bit and push from it too. Yeah. So, so that due to the stiffness that he still presents you with going to the left, you don't feel that you lose him um, in the right hind so much. Very good. Left rein a little shorter. There you go. Jump, push, and jump, and push, and a little suppling, and keep the push. Keep, there you go. Good. Fine. Yeah, good job. And a transition to the trot again. Good. Fine. That's right. Supple him once to the left. Left leg first. Good. Yeah. Very, very nice job. Pet him once. Excellent. Good job. That's better. Until you really feel that he pushes from his hind legs. And due to the fact also that throughout he gets a bit more supple, his back can get softer and start swinging. Well done. Well done. And then come to the walk. Very good. And sit. Can you do that again? Do that again. You felt, due to the fact that he's still a little bit on the front end, when you want to come to the walk, he feels like he pulls you down. Am I right? Yeah? Okay. Now sit a few strides. Do not pull back. Use your, good. Push. Excellent. Yeah? So, because before, instead of, you know, since he's a bit stiff and when you want to then come to the walk, he goes like this, mm. right? You want to make sure you just sit, you soften your hand almost, use your voice and say, I'm not going to pull back. Yeah, I'm not going to pull back. You might have a steady hand, but you're not pulling back what he wants to dive down with, okay? Give him a long rein, free walk, overstep, marching, marching. There you go, marching. Very nice, good boy. Very nice job you did. Very nice job. I think that's enough for him today, huh? He's only 10 months under saddle, so I'm very happy with the result of that.